In May 2016, astronomers from ESO La Silla Observatory detected that a dim and cool star faded slightly at regular intervals, indicating that several objects were passing between the star and the Earth. The observation was made using the TRAPPIST telescope. As early as February 2017, NASA held a press conference and announced the discovery of a seven-planet exoplanet system. The discovered planets are Earth-sized, located in the habitable zone, and can potentially have water on their surface. In this video, you'll get to know how much water there is on these planets, whether or not they are potentially habitable, what makes them similar to Earth, and most importantly, why do they still exist without bumping into each other, even though they should have collided according to scientific calculations? Let's figure it out right now. TRAPPIST-1 star was first discovered in 1999 by John Giesis and his team. Its name comes from a small telescope called Transiting Planets and Planetesimals that was used to detect it. This is a lonely star, with a planet system in the Aquarius constellation some 39.46 light-years away from Earth. It is an ultra-cool red dwarf of spectral glass MV8. TRAPPIST-1's size is only slightly bigger than Jupiter, and its mass is about 8% of the Sun's mass, which makes it even cooler and dimmer. The star's radius is 12.1% of the Sun's radius, which is slightly bigger than that of Jupiter. TRAPPIST-1's age is estimated to be between 5.4 and 9.8 billion years. Taking the star's age into account is very important for understanding if the surrounding planets can be potentially habitable. TRAPPIST-1 is about twice as old as the solar system, which was formed about 4.5 billion years ago. In May 2016, astronomers from ESO La Silla Observatory detected a dim and cool star fading at regular intervals, indicating that several objects were passing between the star and the Earth. The observation was made using the TRAPPIST telescope. A detailed analysis revealed that there are three planets resembling Venus and Earth orbiting the star. In July 2016, scientists used NASA's Hubble telescope to discover that these planets most likely don't have an atmosphere of prevailing hydrogen. Hence, these planets can be rocky and possibly have water on their surface. As early as February 2017, Scientists announced the discovery of four more planets at a press conference by NASA. Thus, it became clear that there are seven Earth-sized planets in the system. NASA's Spitzer Space Telescope, Transiting Planets and Planetesimal Small Telescope in Chile, and other ground telescopes were used to detect and characterize planets. Astronomers claim that three of these planets are in the theoretically habitable zone. All seven exoplanets orbit TRAPPIST-1 and are currently labeled B, C, D, E, F, G, and H in order based on proximity to their star. The largest planets G and B are about 10% larger than Earth. The smallest planets D and H are about 25% smaller than our planet. Researchers determined that the farthest planet from the star TRAPPIST-1h orbits its star every 19 days using NASA's Kepler Space Telescope. This is still much shorter than the orbit of Mercury, which goes around the Sun every 88 days. But because TRAPPIST-1 is so faint, it outputs only 0.05% the amount of energy of the Sun, Planet H receives a lot less heat than Mercury and may be covered in ice. The amount of energy per unit area that 1H receives from its star is comparable to that which the dwarf planet Ceres in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter receives from our Sun. Among the seven planets in the system, TRAPPIST-1b is the closest one to the star, with an orbital period of a day and a half. Its orbital radius is almost 100 times smaller than that of the Earth. The TRAPPIST-1 planets are so close together that if you could stand on the surface of one, you might see some of the neighboring planets hovering above. 
Scale-wise, the structure of this planetary system resembles the satellite system of Jupiter more than the structure of the solar system. Star TRAPPIST-1 is a small and relatively cool red dwarf star belonging to spectral class M. They are the most common stellar objects in the universe and make up 70 to 90 percent of all observed stars. There are seven planets in the TRAPPIST-1 system, roughly the size of Earth. Three of them are in the habitable zone, meaning their distance from their parent star allows them to have liquid water on their surface. And this can most surely indicate that red dwarfs have many Earth-like planets. After all, astrophysicists believe such planets to be the primary candidates for potentially hosting life outside the solar system. After discovering the TRAPPIST-1 system, researchers tried to study its stability using computer simulations with different initial conditions. However, the simulated planets almost always collided about half a million years after their origin, literally destroying the entire system. When assessing the planetary system's stability, the researchers concluded that there is a stabilizing factor. The researchers found out that the time it took for each planet to complete a circle around its star was of crucial importance. The thing is, their orbital periods make up a surprisingly accurate progression. For every two orbital cycles the farthest planet from the star completes, the closest one to it orbits the star three times, the next one four times, then six, nine, fifteen, and 24 times respectively, thus achieving a 2 to 3 resonance where the planet's orbital cycles reach a 2 to 3 ratio. It works like clockwork. There is no long resonant chain like it in other planetary systems. When you reproduce the way the model works, you get the system that sustains itself for as long as the simulation continues. In other words, each planet orbits the star in alignment with its neighbors in the system. Therefore, this unique property allows the entire system to exist for a long period of time, allowing scientists to observe it. The TRAPPIST-1 system contains a total of seven Earth-sized planets. Three of them, TRAPPIST-1d, E, and F, are in a potentially habitable zone where the temperature is suited for having liquid water on the surface. Planets 1b and c are too close to their parent star, and 1h is too far away. The measured densities, combined with planetary compositional models, suggest that the surface of the TRAPPIST-1 planets is far from being a barren, rocky desert. Apparently, they contain a significant amount of volatiles and water, the volume of the latter reaching up to 5% in some of the planet's masses. This is a pretty high percentage. For comparison purposes, water constitutes only 0.02% of Earth's mass. TRAPPIST-1e is the only planet in the system that is slightly denser than Earth. This could mean that it may have a denser iron core, lack a thick atmosphere, oceans, or an ice cape. This planet turned out to be much more rocky than all the other planets of the system. In terms of size, density, and the amount of stellar flux, this planet is more similar to Earth than all the others. According to the Habitable Exoplanets Catalog, TRAPPIST-1e is one of the most potentially habitable exoplanets discovered so far. TRAPPIST-1e is confirmed to have a compact, hydrogen-free atmosphere like those of our solar system's rocky planets, further raising the chances of habitability. Hydrogen is a powerful greenhouse gas, so if there was enough to be easily detected, it would mean that the surface of TRAPPIST-1e would be inhospitable. Since such an atmosphere is not present, it raises the chances for the planet to have a more Earth-like atmosphere instead. TRAPPIST-1f is the fifth farthest planet from its parent star in the seven-planet system. It has a diameter close to that of Earth, but is much lighter, weighing only 0.36 Earth masses. The low density of this planet most likely indicates a significant amount of water or other light substances in its composition. The estimated surface temperature is minus 54 degrees Celsius. 
TRAPPIST-1d is the third farthest planet from the star, with an average surface temperature of plus 15 degrees Celsius and slightly smaller dimensions compared to Earth. Its radius is much shorter than the Earth's radius, and its mass is only 0.33 Earth masses. TRAPPIST-1b and TRAPPIST-1c, the closest planets of the system to the parent star, most likely have a rocky core and are surrounded by a much denser atmosphere than Earth. According to density measurements, planet B can either have a small core or, more likely, contain a significant amount of water or other volatiles in its composition. TRAPPIST-1h has the smallest radius and mass among its cousins. The surface temperature is estimated to be at a life-threatening minus 104 degrees Celsius. 1h orbits its star every 19 days. This is still much shorter than the orbit of Mercury, but because TRAPPIST-1 is so faint, it only outputs 0.05% the amount of energy of the Sun, planet H receives a lot less heat than Mercury and may be covered in ice. Even more interesting facts on exoplanets and other topics are coming your way. Comment below on which planet you find the most interesting and subscribe to our channel. And of course, don't forget to like this video so we can see how many space lovers are out there.